Uh, I've been working since 2009 in Airplanes company and many others. Uh, okay. uh, now I'm head of B. It's not a position. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, we have a very big team, friendly team, and they are all very nice and professional guys. So in order for you to understand uh, what we are doing and uh, what we are up to, I will tell you a little about our company. So currently people know us because of the uh, TV channel STS, for example, and other products like that. And uh, this is um, our motto, uh, look at what you like uh, and uh, and or watch what you like. So this is the service that we've created. We are working on web. We provide streamings, uh, series of uh, foreign companies and uh, TV channels. So this is the promo code, SQ Days. Um, with this promo code, you can uh, use our service for free for one month. And uh, my presentation is uh, called TAS is delegated to make this statement. Actually, if you have any questions, you can ask them uh, directly. You can interrupt, use, I won't use any bad words. In this presentation, we'll have one bad word. We are all normal people without any complexes. So. In order uh, to avoid any doubts, I will show you the word. Uh, this is S. So we will use the word S many times in various inclination. And uh, so it started quite long ago. Uh, we just started, uh, when we just started to make the product, we didn't have any uh, sprints. So some people are doing these sprints, trying, but it's all asynchronic. And um, when we manage to make the release, it's okay. But after it's released, sometimes we've got a problem. So we have a lot of uh, good presentation, which help to make the process very correctly, scientifically correct, but making a um, process, uh, it takes quite a lot of time. It takes uh, several months, and uh, but this presentation is uh, about making a crutch. Well, adjusting a process is okay, but there are some business tasks, and they want to earn money here and now. So uh, here we can list several factors uh, and uh, if uh, you have the same situation so please tell us we are interested in what you can share with us so why we need a service we can test anything there is no problem with testing our team is just superb but the problem is how to uh, organize the process uh, it depends on whether it's one task per week or 100 tasks per second. It depends on how we receive the tasks, uh, how many at a time, and if uh, it's uh, uh, well adjusted process, then it works well. But if the process is not right, the queue is very uh, long. If it's not prior prioritized, then the tasks are queued up and uh, people are waiting. So uh, very often uh, the tasks are provided in a quite chaotic way. I think everybody has this situation. Normally I categorize tasks in four categories. First category is one time. Uh, task, for example, to adjust uh, Jiri uh, and then never come back to that. The second one is uh, uh, regular. For example, when you brush your teeth in the morning or to test after the release, there are also some tasks. 
unexpected tasks. When the manager comes and says, we have a problem with uh, broad, we have to stop everything and uh, settle this issue. Or the fourth category is when you are dealing with unexpected tasks and the manager comes and say, oh no, it's this task is unexpected, but it's not very critical. We have a much, much bigger problem now that you have to settle. The priorities can change on the go like that. Everybody has this problem, right? Yeah. So the priorities can be changed like that on the go. So in the morning we get the status during the planning meeting, and then, well, and the idea, idea is that now it's much easier, it's much more efficient, but early it was like, first we adjust the status in the morning, and then uh, the manager asked, what did you test? And we said, this task was to test this and that one, but now you had to test a completely different thing. Well, I not a telepath. Uh, so the priorities uh, can change just like that, and we don't know what will be a priority uh, in the evening because uh, during the day everything changes rapidly. So I'm like uh, in the middle of the situation, like the Vietnam flashbacks. and So there are problems with forecasting, yeah. Actually, there are no problems with the roadmap. No roadmap, no problem. Well, earlier we had uh, this and uh, the problem was quite big and the problem was that not everybody really understands what is there to be tested because one PM comes and says that this is a very important thing let's test it the second PM comes oh you didn't have to test this one it's not important test another one this is important earlier uh, we had uh, several situations and also recently we had one uh, when we uploaded the release to the prep route, everything is good, it's up to be deployed, the manager is waiting for the feature to be released, but then tester tells us, well, it's strange. I don't know, the bug was fixed, but we were not going to fix it. And I uh, told him, well, and those that bugs that we had to fix, no, they were not fixed. So they just uploaded a different branch somebody in the management decided that it had to go the other way and nobody informed us about that. So <laughs> people did not upload, it means that you, they don't have this problem. So, okay, there is uh, an approach when testers uh, collaborate with the team, though the product consists of many microservices, we have fragment which deals with video upfront, we have backend, and we have a lot of many microservices, and uh, well, and actually there are people who are like heroes. So, uh, and uh, it covers several areas at the same time. And uh, this, our manager, she has to communicate not with one representative of business or PM, but with several ones. And this is the situation when you've got your priorities, you're doing uh, well, you're dealing with it. Uh, and uh, so uh, first uh, one manager comes uh, and says that his task is most important than another one says and says that his is more important and that's quite terrible. And at some point it becomes really terrible and uh, we understand that the S is becoming too dangerous for us. And uh, so we invented such a nice thing as one-stop shop. Uh, and uh, this is the method of forecasting uh, based on formation of uh, resource queries. The wording is uh, something that I'm really skilled in. And uh, the idea is to get the plan of works for the next week, but we have got a lot of problems with that. And that is basically you know, the, to get scope of tasks for the next week, what do we need? So 
For example, what is the scope of work? Like 40 hours of testers work per week. Nobody works 40 hours per week. Tester cannot work for 40 hours. Nobody works eight hours per day. And uh, when you say that two days is 16 hours, it's not. It, it doesn't work because at least one hour you need to talk to colleagues, to go to the toilet. Well, then you have stand-ups, meetings. You have to deduct time for these events from these eight hours. Once per hour, for two minutes, you have to close your eyes. Let me finish, please. It will also take five minutes uh, per day, at least, and it <laughs> diverts your attention. No applause, I'm glad. F to record time for what uh, orders will be uh, taken. All project representatives will send you orders, fixing the time. Uh, I uh, put uh, a limit of uh, 3 p.m. on Friday. As uh, you can uh, imagine, uh, all, almost all the orders uh, came in between half past two and half past three. No one thinks about doing things uh, uh, prematurely. And then deadline is always uh, uh, put uh, forth like a formula of uh, uh, love. And you do something within something instead of uh, one hour within 10 weeks. No, it's a difficult task. Uh, organize a single uh, entry point for your orders. There was a bad precedent when uh, people were making lame excuses, like I gave the, my order to this or that person. All the orders should be accepted by you. Organize a single info space. I can uh, draw a picture, a table, to show how it works. But the essence is, it is a table uh, with a few columns. Uh, one column is uh, a tester and his responsibility uh, zone uh, tasks. Uh, put uh, to you by your manager, uh, then tasks you uh, really take for work, and notes. Because you can be bombarded with a huge number of tasks. One, uh, one guy used to accept uh, uh, even as much as uh, 200 hours uh, worth of uh, work uh, per week. Uh, assess assess tasks uh, with uh, their performers. Uh, the uh, task uh, performers uh, would evaluate uh, the amount of time uh, needed for completion. After uh, the evaluation was ready, we met uh, managers because any planning any negotiation with business is also a dialogue. Absolutely, uh, always it is about dialogue. You speak with estimators, you speak with your customers. This that kind of dialogue can uh, go on for uh, forever. Then you come back uh, with your option. All the stakeholders are invited. And uh, you say, we have uh, this task, we have a tester. He has some 30 hours per week or to more, sorry, 25 to work with your uh, task. Because 90 minutes for assessment, one hour for meetings. Clarification of the task details. Release maintenance retesting support seven, uh, eight hours of real testers time 25 hours to be spent on the task take into account the checklist uh, writing or even without and uh, then you start un understanding that out of 20 tasks 
which have to be tested so fast, uh, then it's understanding that 15 tasks are not, uh, are not relevant, in fact. Have a look. This one can be done next week. Uh, this one uh, should wait. Uh, this one is not needed. Uh, this is how it all happens. And uh, uh, notifications. Each week, not in our company, but uh, things happen that managers uh, have very short memories uh, like golden fish. Three minutes, that's it. You fix uh, task scope for a week and uh, he comes up with the adding tasks. I just uh, forgot. Wonderful. Why did you? Uh, our company doesn't have it. And accordingly, uh, we conduct some kind of troubleshooting. Uh, the, you should also assess uh, uh, the tasks which haven't been uh, completed. We uh, used to uh, receive uh, tasks which were experimental and uh, we couldn't uh, evaluate them properly. Now, sudden tasks. We are all human. We all have superiors, and even we, if we have a fixed uh, task uh, uh, scope, uh, uh, th there will be your manager coming saying that this is an emergency, we just must do it. In this case, everything should be decided according to the regulations of the uh, ordering shop, or the person whose tasks are are changed, and I decide what of the testers should do it. The t testers have their uh, task uh, schedule entrusted by a manager. I gather those uh, people or write with them. I explain to them we have a certain volume, capacity uh, volume, and we cannot access our capacities. and uh, we cannot uh, extend it any further. Uh, the area is uh, all uh, full, and if we have to uh, squeeze something in, something must be removed. Uh, managers must not be admitted to, uh, uh, to editing. There was a situation when a manager on Friday night forgot to put uh, his order into the order shop, we assessed everything, everything was okay, it was a perfect puzzle. And then on Monday I come up, uh, uh, I have a tester coming up to me uh, saying uh, that uh, I have a minimum one week's uh, work apart from uh, what we agreed upon. Uh, the manager uh, sent it, uh, evaluated it instead of the test uh, and was happy to leave for a uh, uh, weekend. No task, no order. On the one hand, it must be a very tough approach. You had a chance, you had to plan, but again, we are all human. It's human to err. We have to be a little bit uh, loyal, soft, flexible. Business has a need, and we are a problem-solving uh, tool for businesses. Manager should monitor tasks, one of the sine qua non tasks. The most interesting uh, things the manager told me, we sent to your order table 30 or 40 tasks, you process only 10. What happens with the rest? I hear some occasional applause, a very strange question. There may be two approaches. 
uh, two approaches. Some of these tasks are advanced for next week, uh, some are disregarded. Pros. It uh, allows uh, creating visibility of order and feeling that uh, you uh, influence something and control something. What is uh, joke? What is the difference between a tester and a piece of shit in flight? Tester thinks that he controls the process. This is not a panacea. It's a simple thing. It helps you to create a visibility that you control something, uh, that there is uh, a cons. This is chocolate. Uh, the last, uh, the last uh, uh, tool, if nothing else, uh, works. Try to set things right. Thank you very much. I was very pleased uh, that you listened to me. I'm ready uh, to answer your uh, uh, questions as though I uh, were wearing my gown. You're super. I wish you a productive conference.